much, Maggie. The next speaker is, I think, I think most of you know her. Um, it's Ms. Dorofiani. Um, she is a director at Bashir Foundation. Uh, she's a multidisciplinary expert combining hands-on experience of project management of multiple projects over 30 years of experience in strategic marketing and business development for a large number of institutions and corporations, specializing in the B2B market, SME supply chains, and multiple sectoral surveys of Egypt in Egypt and overseas, of which a large range of programs were in the agribusiness sector. She investing in her entrepreneurship skills and expertise in information systems design and management, Ms. Fian is established with a group of leading experts and NGO, Knowledge Economy Foundation, to which Knowledge Company for Sustainable Development, a social enterprise was added to manage the Bashir network, the first agribusiness digital network in Egypt and MENA region, to cover a range of value chains in which horticulture, fish and dairy are featured. Please, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. It's a pity that the room is less full than in the morning, but uh, we will be together. That's the most important thing. Thank you so much, World Bank, for focusing on this subject. It was really high, high time, because I'm sure all of you know, and even better after the presentations of my colleagues, that uh, I, unfortunately, North Africa is late in applying ICT in agriculture. Uh, Sub-Saharan Africa up till South Africa have done a great job. So we have now to run after them in order to meet the challenge. So uh, I would like to take up before my presentation uh, on what Maggie, who have just said, I couldn't agree more. What we have discovered when we started developing our agriculture digital marketing uh, platform, we also thought that uh, IT is the solution and that we can go ahead, develop the tools, and people will use it because it's so obvious that it's great and it solves so many things. It is not true. If you do not combine IT with one-on-one -on -one physical exchanges community relations, as you have said, uh, Dr. Reifat, and we not need to talk about the National Council for Women, I'm also part of it. Then you've missed, the, you've missed it. ICT is a tool, and the challenge is to get everybody in the agriculture sector to use it for, the, for business, same as they use it for their social life. So that's, but again, the uh, challenge is how do you combine both? Because the other challenge we are faced with as uh, small either foundations or small private sector is how do we sustain our activities? Because these are new tools. We all know that the agriculture world and the, agri the farmers in general do not change easily. In fact, they are rather against change and in our part of the world in particular. So change takes time until it is established. And the challenge we are faced in terms of sustainability of our activities is indeed how do we develop a business which is not just about implementing projects like Maggie is doing, but once the project have been funded by different agencies, how do we continue operating it during the time needed for the product to be accepted and used. So let me start by, after this long digression, I uh, have to use this. So as you can see, the challenge is very much the same thing as Daniel have explained, in the sense that in all developing countries, small farmers have the same problems. So in Egypt, just as a reminder, we have 7 million farmers, of which 50% average is women worker in rural areas, in addition to the new land reclamation uh, schemes. And the challenge is, how do you integrate them in the business cycles? Because we, you have the farmers on one side, and you have the large businesses, the large farms, the exporters, the factories on the other side, they do want to work together, but the reality of today is that 
the channels of um, communication, the, challenge, uh, the channels of engagement are not there. So the other challenge is that the value chain strategies with inclusive approach, which are based on matching large operators to SMEs and small farmers, are needed in order to leverage Egypt's export potential. Uh, Sandra have explained this morning the key uh, value chains, which are horticulture, dairy, fish. Obviously, horticulture is a major export potential for Egypt. We've already done a number of things. But the challenge for the large companies, and there are some large companies in the room, is how do they engage with the small farmers in a secure manner so that small farmers produce the quality required so that in turn the factories and the exporters can uh, export uh, with the right qualities. And then the last uh, key challenge from our view is uh, the necessity when you deal with a small farmer to combine marketing solutions to technical capacity building in order se to secure sustainability. In other words, today, the farmers in their very vast majority sell to the trader. So the trader takes the goods for what they are without any, of course, traceability, any particular quality. And that is based on what the deal is with the trader because at the origin, the trader is the one who has also financed the input supplies and he gets the goods for whatever price the trader have decided. So if we want to improve the quality of the output of the small farmer, it's not enough to give him use IT and give him the right uh, technical knowledge. It also is about providing him with the market access so that he can, it justifies the additional effort required from him because he has an, an interesting opportunity. So the, the way we handle this, this is what I've called the Bashir approach. One is that uh, through the studies we've made, we've found that the key issues, whatever the value chain, are the same. In the sense that it boils for the small farmer about market access, about access to quality inputs, and about extension services. But the way to serve them, and I'm going back to what you were saying, Efet, is that you have to be specific in whatever you say. So we've adopted the approach of having specific value chain. These are the ones you can see up there. Bashir is the one we've started with for horticulture. Then Shabakat el Asmek, the fish uh, value chain. We are developing it with the World Fish International Center. And uh, the third one in the making is Shabakat el Alban, which we are preparing uh, with a little bit of help from the USID, but primarily on our own. And finally, Agri Ruwad which I'm going to talk to you about later. So the second uh, approach we have developed is to work on market bias linkages customized to their needs. What we mean by this is that the challenge is to engage small farmers to the market buyers. So if you go and talk to the market buyers just from the point of view of the small farmer, you are not achieving the target. You need to customize the tools you are developing so that it fits the needs of the market buyers and then you can bring them to engage with the small farmers. One of the challenges, one of the key challenges, is to get the small farmers to aggregate their offer so that they can sign with the market buyer who wants to sign one contract and not 500 contracts with 500 farmers. And there you have the whole issues of capacity building of agricultural co-ops or NGOs which are not trained to do this job, same as co-ops in developed countries. The third, uh, act the third approach we are, have adopted is that we managed to work with the government for all the extension services. Uh, I think 
most of you have noticed that there isn't an official presence of the Minister of Agriculture in the room today, but I'm happy to say that we managed to work well with the Minister of Agriculture. We've just signed an agreement with the Minister himself to develop the first extension service uh, application on mobile related to pesticides. So it's doable, but it takes time. And finally, the fourth approach is to leverage synergies for agribusiness SMEs through a BDS incubator center, and that is about agri reward I'm talk to you about in a moment. So the first, I would say the core service, is the online marketplace, whereby we uh, publish buy and sell offers from farmers, from companies, and we match them. We also enable selecting uh, by either the buyer or the seller all the offers published, and we, match, we exchange, exchange their contact details. And that we do both for crops and produce with options of spot deals, supply agreements, or contract farming, as well as, as a separate online marketplace, but on the same platform, for the input supplies, horticulture, fish, and dairy. And the other service is the extension services on mobile. On the same platform, what we are working on driving to the farmer is Good products, good marketing is tied to good products. If you don't work on having a good pro I mean, it looks very basic like this, but honestly, when you deal with farmers, it's not that basic. The, the connection between the quality and the, and, the, and the good marketing is not really there. So we have this uh, initiative of developing uh, extension services on mobile, starting with pesticides. And here we, are, we have managed to connect with the Agriculture Export Council. The aim is that the farmers who will use the pesticides guide, we're also working on another project not funded yet of a farmer's agenda per crop. Those farmers we will then help to apply to the Minister of Agriculture um, uh, certification system to enable them to become export compliant and then be able to deal with exporters and get the kind of high uh, revenue uh, they want. We're also developing an Ask the Expert on mobile and web with the Agriculture Research Center and World Fish International for the Fish. And we already have in place weather forecast and technical tips by SMS and mobile web notifications same as Daniel is doing with the SOCO. Unfortunately, we do not have yet voice messages in Egypt. This is a call to the mobile operators. They need to get their act together a little bit faster because that would be a big help. Market services, we provide daily market prices on SMS from wholesale markets. We plan to cover all the wholesale markets in Egypt, but we're not there yet but we have started with two uh, main, the two main ones. And uh, we are working parallel to the IT on direct sourcing and managing of farmer supplies for market buyers. Ooh. And uh, we're also, of course, um, developing capacity building and rural development programs. I said that I wanted to mention the uh, leave for the end because that's the new latest project we have, the agri reward Agribusiness SMEs, BDS, and Incubator Center. It is about uh, addressing all the gaps we have found in working on the marketing network for the small farmers and linking them to their markets directly. That after identifying the absence of drying facilities for fruits, for example, or for tomatoes, or a simple processing of fish, and so on and so forth, that brought us into seeking to develop this resource center as a tool to aggregate synergies of donors, banks, large companies, into 
a central uh, service uh, providing uh, tool to promote those activities, link them to uh, proper funding. We're working on with the agricultural bank in this respect and help uh, more agribusiness SMEs step into the sector. I think I've overpassed my time. Thank you very much. <laughs>